welcome back to Live a La Vida Low Carb on YouTube. This is episode 23. My name is Jimmy Moore and you are... Christine Moore. Christine is here with us. Yoo-hoo! It's always a pleasure to have a lovely, beautiful wife right next to you. Just cover. She's my buddy. What do you want? My buddy. I love my buddy. <laughs> Everybody should have a buddy. Mm -hmm. You really want something. What do you want? Hey, I always want something, you know. Well, today we are going to talk about buddies. I love my buddies. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, uh, having a buddy when you are trying to lose weight, it is so important. When you're wanting to be accountable in your low carb lifestyle, or any lifestyle change for that matter, that you have somebody there to help you with it. Because if you're trying to go alone, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start feeling lonely, you're going to feel abandoned, and you're just not going to be as successful as you could be um, if you had some accountability to back you up. Now we're going to get into that in just a moment. First, I want to talk about an exciting giveaway. Uh, I like giving stuff away here on Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube. And today we have three dozen eggs from Eglin's Best. Compliments of our friends at Eglin's Best. So all you got to do is the same drill is leave a comment down there. And if you leave a comment at the comment section of YouTube for episode 23, then you will become eligible to win and we will announce the winners or the winner of those three Eglin's Best gift certificates uh, in the next video. And that's a good price because oh, the price man. of eggs have gone up. Oh man, Ooh. yeah, e eggs are like $4. No, I'm just kidding. Not quite that bad yet, but Close. They're, they're about like what, uh, almost what gasoline is nowadays. But anyway, uh, so leave your comment. Tell us uh, what you like about the show, what you don't like about the show. Uh, you know, brag on Christine because she's so hot and good looking and and uh, hey, some people do that, you know. <laughs> can't, can't hurt it because the uh, is so good. All right, so let's get into what today. What do you want? I always want something. Um, let's get into today's show, and it is about accountability. And I want to give you some tips about how you can stay accountable in your weight loss. When I was losing 180 pounds uh, on the Atkins diet in 2004, I didn't do it alone. And, and I make no bones about it that I didn't do it alone. Uh, first and foremost, I had this one. This one here was a rock solid accountability partner for me. And if you don't have a Christine in your life, you need to get one. And I don't mean a wife necessarily, although if you need a wife, get a wife too. But I'm talking about somebody that loves you, cares for you, and will be there for you no matter what uh, you're going through that you need that. I mean, it's just indispensable. You have to have somebody who's going to be there for you. And uh, while it's nice to have some online friends, which we'll get on into that in just a moment about how online can help you, it's good to have a, a physical person that you can come and talk to and, you know, have them kick you in the tail when you need it and uh, have, you, have them love on you uh, at just the right time. Tell them a little bit about what you did for me back in 2004 and help keep me accountable. I mean, I just, any time that you um, felt like eating carbs or got discouraged, mm -hmm. I, I would just give you a nice verbal kick in the hiney. <laughs> yeah, and, and you were very good at that. Um, in fact, before I started my Atkins diet, she used to nag me a lot. I mean. I did. Nag me well, about I mean, my weight. He I was, saw it as nagging. Because I was 400 pounds and. Quite frankly, I didn't want somebody to tell me, hey, you're fat. Yeah, no kidding. Tell me something I don't know. And when she stopped nagging me about it is when I started realizing just how bad my problem was. And it was the impetus for me starting on my weight loss that uh, I went on to lose 180 pounds. So when she stopped nagging, as I called it, and started, in my eyes, loving me, and I was ready to make that choice. And she was always loving me. I don't want to uh, make that unclear. She always loved me, but it was just the way it came across to me that finally I felt like she was loving me for who I was and was going to support me regardless. Um, 
and I know it was that way all along. Um, that's when I started and was successful. So, find a... Oh, she gonna kiss me. <laughs> all right, now I've gotta have to have the rest of the video now. Yep. All right, well. All right, there is proof that she loves me, and I'm gonna wear that to the... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, now as far as accountability goes, in addition to individuals, you might want to start a blog or start doing YouTube videos. One great example of YouTube video, yes, it's still there. One great example of a YouTube video, uh, a guy that's using YouTube videos to help him uh, with his Atkins low carb lifestyle weight loss plan is a guy named Shrinking Tony. Ooh. What up, Shrinking Tony? And he is an amazing guy. He makes all sorts of videos that are really entertaining. You really ought to check him out on YouTube. Again, his username Shrinking Tony. And he is just fired up about his uh, low carb lifestyle. And I encourage him to keep it up because he's doing a great job. And I encourage you to go look at his videos and see if maybe that's something that will help you remain accountable in your low carb lifestyle as well. Uh, another thing that Christine noted, uh, tell them about the scale. Well, I noticed with you, um, you love to weigh yourself. I love to weigh. And, um, How many times a day? Oh, ten or, countless. Ten countless or twelve times, times a day? Countless times. But, yeah. Um, and something that I thought of with me too, um, if you weigh yourself often, um, and again, this is not for everybody, but if you weigh yourself often, um, you'll constantly see where your weight is and if you see you've gone up a little bit then you can say okay I need to do something about this right now before it gets out of hand. Right and actually some studies have come out that said the people who are most successful at maintaining their weight once they've lost the weight are the ones who weigh themselves the most often. So I don't mind weighing myself many times. Now the key is you want to weigh yourself at least that one time a day generally in the morning after you go to the bathroom. Uh, and you weigh your lowest. I mean, that's generally the time that you weigh, weigh the least. So do that, and that helps keep you accountable. Um, another thing that is really invaluable, and of course I'm going to say this because I am online, and I have a blog, and I have a podcast show, and YouTube videos, and lots of things to help people in their low-carb lifestyle. You need to find some sort of support group. In addition to having that one person that will keep you accountable, that, that's a real person in your life, not, that, not, not, a, real, not a real person, I am a real person, um, you need to find an online community or a local support group. Um, I just uh, spoke to a wonderful group of uh, weight loss uh, people that kind of support each other in a, a program called TOPS take off pounds sensibly. I spoke to the York, South Carolina group. Hey everybody. And uh, they are a great group of people who are there for each other in their weight loss. And I just can't think of anything better than to be surrounded by people who are going through the same journey that you are. And so tops may be what you need, or you might try my discussion forum, lowcarbdiscussion.com. I created it just for that purpose so that people can find others and like-minded individuals who uh, are either where they are in their journey or further along to help encourage them in their lifestyle change. So that's how you can stay accountable in your low-carb lifestyle. And I do hope you enjoyed today's episode of Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube, episode 23. Don't forget, sign up, sign up, sign up for the free three dozen eggs of Eglin's Best. And we'll announce the winner in episode 24, which is coming up. So, you got anything else to say? I guess nope. not. No burrs! Hey, I got her. All right, what was that catchphrase you were going to say? Okie donkey. Okie donkey. See ya!